hi how are you guys how are you doing have you been fine have you been taking care of yourselves i always ask you this because i know it's very important take care of yourselves be safe do whatever you have to do to take care of yourself and your family um it's good to be here it's good to be back so this episode is for you it's all about you how i am answering your questions the ones you send me online and um i got a lot of questions very interesting ones uh but there were so many so i just picked out you know the ones i could answer for the time that we can be here because i mean we can't be here all day now can we the reason why i chose to do this i've never done this a q a but um i've always done interviews in the past i'm sure you know that but of late um i haven't done any interview in a long time and uh you're probably wondering what she's been up to what is she doing what what's going on um but yeah i haven't done any interviews in a while and you know with these platforms we have the opportunity to you know kind of speak to you directly like i don't have to go to a media house do an interview and then it's printed and then it comes out on a friday no I can always come here and answer your questions and then we talk. Isn't that nice? I think it's really cool. So anyway, let's get into the questions. There are so many, but like I said, I picked out what I thought was interesting. I hope um, I've answered some of your questions, you who's watching right now. So, um, okay, let's see. The first one says, what keeps you busy these days apart from motherhood? What keeps me busy apart from motherhood? Uh, of course music uh, music is for me a lifetime job um, I keep hearing people saying did you retire from music did you uh, stop singing I'm gonna speak for myself music is not something I intend to retire from the word retire does not even make sense for me you know when it comes to someone who is in the arts because for example music you're born with a gift all right and how i see it is god gives you a platform uh, that you can use to inspire people that's how i see my career my music career it's a platform to inspire to teach but also to entertain so if i'm born with it and god expects me to use it then why should i wake up one day and retire and the thing i know about music in particular is that the older you get the better you become i don't know whether it's the experience or anyway that's what i do when i'm not uh you know being a, a mom i uh i sit down come up with concepts talk to songwriters and you know we plan recording sessions what else do i do uh i do business private business <laughs> that i will not get into uh but i do uh some business on the side so I have a couple of things that I do on the side, but uh, for the most part right now, I am uh, being a mom. That's what I do for the most part. Um, okay, let's see. Does baby boy already call you mama and how does it feel? So coincidentally, he called me mama for the very first time yesterday. Uh, for some reason he hadn't said that word and and yet you know he has said papa he has said he can count although he does not count in order he seems to like to skip numbers so from number one to ten he knows eight and then ten and now he's going to skip to twenty uh but yeah i i for the longest time i've tried to get him to say mama and he just wouldn't say it but yesterday he did and I was very happy. So yeah, um why do you hide your baby's face? Ah, guys. <laughs> All right. Let me say this. Because hide would almost mean like you're trying to hide something that's not nice or something that's that you're not proud. Hide is just not a word I like. And I've noticed that you guys use it a lot uh you know on my platform saying, "Why do you hide Dad's face?" I don't hide his face, uh so to speak what i do is i just have for anyone who's followed me for a long time i'm a very private person i am um, i'm very 
particular when it comes to what I reveal, when it comes to what I share publicly. And for anyone who's known me uh, as a public figure will tell you that even all the way as far as 2000, you know, when I joined the music industry, I tend to like to keep certain slices of my life private. And that's just how I leave it. And that's how I find my peace. So when it comes to my baby or my children or my family, and I say children because even for Karen, for those who were following closely, I rarely brought him out in the public. And of course, when he got older, I was able to take pictures and post them and stuff, but that was still once in a while. I liked to, you know, respect his privacy. And so it's the same thing with, with, with Taj. There's nothing about hiding him for some strange reason. No, uh, I just choose to keep him private. I just choose to keep my family life private. Uh, and that includes his father, because as I speak about Taz, let me bring that in as well, because I've noticed you guys have been obsessive over that. Like, who is his father? Who is his father? Why don't you tell? Um, that is my private life and I kindly ask that you respect it. He is a very private person, does not like, uh, you know, being in the limelight. He loves his privacy and I respect that, but I also love my privacy as a family. That is why you've never known or seen him, even though he's been in my life for the last seven years. Yes, seven years, yeah, seven years. So that's just who I am. So. I kindly ask that you understand that and uh, you know at some point of course I know you will meet him I, I'm talking about Taj you will meet him at some point but right now as a baby for me it is so important to protect his privacy um, and that's just it that's just it nothing else hope you understand that okay um, next question um, are you considering life as a mother and have more kids or are you planning to balance it with music? Um, in terms of motherhood, I think really for me, I always leave it to God. Like people used to ask me, when will you have another baby? And I always told them, I leave it to God. I give it to God. When he decides that I can have another baby, I will have another baby. And then it happened. So um, I'm naturally... Uh, I love being a mom and so if another opportunity comes I'll be happy but um, do I intend to balance that with music absolutely like I said music is my lifetime job music is life for me music is something I've done since I was a child and so um, I have no intentions of leaving it alone uh, so sorry you're stuck with me but um, you know you learn to juggle you know everything you learn to juggle everything as you go by and that's what i intend to do um okay next question how does one get their body back after childbearing i don't know <laughs> i don't know because i didn't do anything in particular to get my body back and i'm not even sure i've got my body back fully i don't think so uh, I, i'm still a work in progress um I know people who've like aggressively gone back to the gym immediately after having the baby and exercising and getting, you know, their tummy back and all that. But I did not have, first of all, I did not have that time because I told you the story last time in my previous episode. I was so busy being a mom uh, alone with no help and surely I could not even manage to go to the gym even if I wanted to. But I'm very thankful that uh, I kind of have my mom's genes. So what I've noticed is both my pregnancies, I have not put on that much weight, uh, apart from, you know, from waist down. If I took a picture like from here and you just get this, you probably not know that I'm even pregnant. And I think I did that. <laughs> I did that for a long time on Instagram and none of you noticed. So I didn't have to do much work. You know that's what i'm trying to say i didn't have to do that much work to sort of lose the weight or get back into shape as you may say uh, but other than that i do uh i do the treadmill uh, about three four times a week when i can um but 
that's pretty much it and then i just try to eat healthy so i don't do much um how old are you i'm 40 years old i've always told you uh every year i tell you how old i am at the time um maybe you keep forgetting i was born in 1980 uh so i'm 40 uh turned 40 last year um do you have plans of expanding the Karen Kabogo Foundation? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's just that a lot has been happening since then that has not given me the opportunity to sit down and, you know, roll out the plans that we have properly. But I'm so hoping that uh, that will happen soon uh, once I put my team together that I intend to work with on the foundation. I have a lot of plans for it because Karen had a, like I always said, Karen had a lot of passion for, you know, children and, and, and doing a lot of good work for, uh, for the community. So, yes, I want to make sure that that dream stays alive because that is how I get to celebrate him. Um, if a brand approached you to use Taj as their brand ambassador, would you accept? Yeah, absolutely. Why not? I would but it depends of course it depends on um, let's see it depends on the brand what brand is it what product is it um, the thing about me and this is not just about Taj but even if um, you know a company say approached me for endorsement which you know I've done in the past I've done a couple a few endorsements um, as long as as long as they're good people, I believe in good relations. I'm, I'm that person who, I just love good people. So if we connect, you know, if we click, but most importantly, before I endorse a brand, for me, what's important is, do I know the brand? Do I trust the brand? Is it a good brand? Why? Because you, my viewers, you, my fans, you, my followers are the most important thing to me. So I do not want to come and endorse a product unless I'm sure that it's good for you, that you're going to love it, that it won't cause any harm to you. As you can imagine, I'm sure this has probably happened to you once or twice where you've bought a product, brought it into your kitchen or your bathroom and it ends up causing harm. So before I accept to endorse any product, I must trust it. And I must trust that when I come and tell you that it's good for you, I know what I'm talking about. So yeah, if um, uh, a brand came to uh, me asking for Taj to endorse it, yes, I'd look at those things and then we would decide. Okay. Um, this one says, most of the videos had main act. Okay, those are the recent uh, couple of videos. Act, ha, ha, most of the videos had main act as a label um is it a label and operational does it intend to nurture talent and sign musicians and then there's another question i guess uh, pretty much um, the same as the previous one it says what is main act all about should we expect it to grow into a video audio production talent management company how is how is your manager my manager is fine um yes uh there's a lot of big plans for main act uh in terms of uh nurturing and, and and helping young talent especially i've been in the industry for a while and i've been blessed with a successful career and i always wondered how can i give back properly uh and on a long-term basis how can i give back to young talent how can i give back to uh you guys who have supported me all this time so main act We'll be doing uh, a lot of that, and uh, of course, I'll share details as it when you know when the time comes. Um, but other than that, there's a lot more that Main Act uh, as a company uh, intends to do uh, in the entertainment business, which I'll share, you know, as time goes by. Okay, um, let's see. Why do you? Why did you change your your singing? Why did you change from singing? your music in English to Luganda, yet you were good in English music by the time you were at Capital FM. Uh, did I just change? Because 
how do I answer this? I didn't just wake up and say, okay, I'm done with English and I'm switching to Luganda. Absolutely not. It was just one of those things that just happens. You know, you wake up and just happen to do a song and you switch languages. Um, but over time, I believe I've done a couple of songs in English. I've done Swahili. I've done Luganda as always. Um, but of course, as time went on, I noticed that Ugandans generally tend to appreciate their language more. Of course, that's Luganda, which is one of our languages here. And so a lot of my music came in Luganda. But apart from that, I, I, I don't tie myself to one language. Uh, if anything, I also don't tie myself to a genre. I just go with the flow. If you bring a song right now and it's in uh, French, if I can learn it and sing it well, I will sing it. Uh, so no, um, I don't think I stopped. I guess I just switched to another language and then, I mean, what? I did a song on my uh, last album called Right Here. I did I'm Still Here. Those songs are in English. So no, I, I do all languages. Um, can we expect some more uh, regional collaborations? Absolutely. Um, I'm open to collaborations with anyone anywhere for me what's most important is do we have a connection um i don't believe in and and you know this is no disrespect to those that literally plan it and say i want to do my song with this person because they have a, a huge fan base in this area and if i do a song with them um that's important but for me it's also a connection if i don't connect with you in the studio if i don't connect with you as an artist i don't think we'll have chemistry so yeah i'm open with collaborations with anybody as long as there is that artistic connection why don't you drop more music um more music will come for sure more music will come just give me time i'm working on uh, uh new music for you guys um but of course you also have to understand you know i had a baby just last year and so it's been quite uh hectic for me but um these are things that happen to all of us as mothers as women especially career women who are mothers and wives at the same time sometimes you have to take a small break from whatever you do so you can you know be a mom and then get back to work so yeah kindly be patient with me i know i know you've been patient too long but no there's music coming i promise and it's going to be worth it I always do good music, right? Yeah, yeah. It's going to be worth it, I promise you. Okay. Um, what inspired the song right here? I'll be right here, right here, right here. I'll be right here, right here, right here. I'll be right here. What inspired it? Right here is just a love song. When you listen to it, it's just a feel-good love song. I do not have a particular story or person that inspired me to do it. It was just a feel-good song that I wanted to do because I love feel-good music. I feel like love songs sort of light up people's lives. Um, so it was just a beautiful love song that I uh, jumped into studio and did. I sat down with a the person who wrote it and said look um write a song in this direction and that was it uh so yeah 